Welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. Um, welcome back. We're going to get into a fight that I had a lot of trouble. Uh, that's why I put it off all the way until Friday night uh, here in Texas. But uh, I, I got some ways for you to make money with a guaranteed, almost a guaranteed kind of safety net on a, how to hedge this. Uh, we're going to get into the uh, Apatai, Jai Apatai, and uh, Jordan Thompson Cruiserweight IBF title fight. Uh, it's a good fight. I, as a fan, it's a good fight. I want to show you how to make money off of this fight. There's two ways this fight can end, uh, and I'm going to show you how to hedge that. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Follow me on all forms of social media. Uh, quick, uh, The Boxing Bookie comes at you every day for every fight, showing you how to make money. Look, boxing bookies, bookmakers do not know how to handicap the sport. I can show you how to take down uh, take down the house. I can show you how to consistently make money, and that's what we're going to do in this video. Also, please uh, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Um, let's get into let's get into that real quick. Um, I'm losing my <laughs> losing my breath on it. Texas Boxing, Texas Boxing Scene, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into the fight. Apatai, uh, the um, Reigning IBF uh, cruiserweight champ who upset Bradis, Bradis, uh, Bradis, Marish Bradis, uh, who was an excellent fighter, might might have invaded. Uh, Appetite's got real good skills. He, he's a boxer. He's a mover. He's hyper athletic. He seems to have decent power. He's got a decent knockout ratio, but he doesn't really seem to have knockout power. He's kind of like Caleb Plant kind of power, but he comes forward a little bit. He's fun to watch. And he's got skills. He's super sharp, right? Um, he's six two, athletic, can move. Probably one on one to ten. He's probably got five or six power. Probably five. Uh, he doesn't seem bad. He can knock out guys beneath him at the highest level. He's probably not going to get a lot of knockouts. He's going to have to move. Now he likes to come forward. He's susceptible to getting hit with the right hand, which is what Jordan Thompson has to do. Jordan Thompson. It's going to be a battle of jab. Jordan Thompson has an excellent jab. Jab, it's long. Jordan Thompson, 6'6", six, six, long, rangy. He's got to use him to set up the right hand. Keep Apatai at bay. Apatai's a southpaw. He's going to have that southpaw jab. Thompson's still got to use his, though, right? But he's got to fire that right hand. Fire that right hand. Uh, Apatai seems susceptible to get hit by the right hand. He also seems eager to throw safety you know, to the wind and engage in a slugfest. Uh, engage on the inside. Op Jordan Thompson, someone who's six six, can fight on the inside. It's not that's you know it's kind of a rare thing, but he can fight on the inside. Um, he, he's talented. He's got skills. He can do it. Um, so it's it's, it's, a, it's an intriguing fight stylistically. I I, I think that um, you know there's two possible outcomes to this fight. Apatai on point. If Apatai can stay on his feet, he wins the fight. If Apatai stays on his feet and answers the final bell, he wins. Okay? Can he do that, though? Look, I, I know you're going to say a Apatai hasn't beaten anyone. Um, Jordan Thompson hasn't beaten anyone. Okay, fair enough. Had Apatai beaten anyone when he stepped up and beat Bradis? No. Right, and he is good. Apatai is good, and he's flawed. He can win this fight if he's if he doesn't get knocked out. He wins. I think he fades. He's susceptible to getting hit by the right hand. I think at this stage of his career, Thompson's got more in the tank than Bradis does, and I'm thinking Thompson stops him late. That's kind of my bet, right? But there's also a chance he loses every round. Like that's a possibility too. Um, so I, I want to safety net this. My gut is telling me Thompson wins this thing by knockout, and we're going to get really, really paid on 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 the upset here. And the upset is paid. the odds are way too wide here. Jordan Thompson is good. Bradis is better. He's more skilled. He's a better athlete. 
Thompson is 6'6", six, six, and he can hit. And his strength are Appetite's weaknesses, which is his right hand. I don't know that Appetite can win a battle of the jabs here. I, I don't know that he can win a battle of the jabs. Right, because Jordan Thompson's jab is longer and is good. But is he going to jab that? This is a really intriguing fight. So let's let me show you how you're going to make money on this fight. Let me get into that. Let me share this with you. All right. So there are two ways I'm going to bet this fight. Okay. The one I'm kind of thinking, my heart, my gut is telling me. And again, I'm using uh, DraftKings. Use DraftKings. It's going to give you the perfect odds. Use it right this second. Okay? I'm going to show you how to make money. And if not, we're going to hedge. You're not going to lose any money. Like I said, there are two ways. And, and again, I don't gamble. I don't gamble at all. So I'm in Texas. I can't even place bets on DraftKings from, from where I'm at. Okay? But if you do, I'm going to show you how you take down the house. And it's, it's going to seem weird if you're not a pro, a gambler, okay? But this is what we're going to do. We're going to bet one time bet on two outcomes. Jordan Thompson by KO, TKO, or DQ. And that's playing plus 800. And I do think this is going to happen. I think Jordan Thompson is going to win by KO. But like I said, and it's going to pay you 800. Uh, it's going to pay you eight times on a uh, uh, on a bet, right? So a ten dollar bet makes you eight hundred. Bet makes you eight hundred. But I could be dead wrong, and there's a good chance I'm dead wrong, right? I'm 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 taking a gamble here, right? Because he is a prohibitive underdog. The other option is Appetite on points. If Appetite wins on points, it's plus two hundred. I don't because I think if you ask twenty people. 15 of them are going to tell you appetite by points. I don't understand these odds, right? So what happens if I'm wrong? If I'm wrong and the other outcome happens, appetite wins, you made two bets for $200, but you hit on the appetite decision. You got your money back. You've lost nothing. So here's an opportunity to make $700 on Jordan Thompson, right? Because you're going to lose, you're going to, you're going to lose 200. You're going to lose a hundred on, on, I mean, you're going to lose a hundred on the appetite, you're going to get that wrong, but you're fully hedged if, Appetite wins by points. If Appetite wins by points, you, you wash. You don't make or lose a dime. Okay? But that's just the heads, the real bet, which is Jordan Thompson by KO or TKO, which I think is going to happen. Like, Jordan Thompson, I, I, I think Appetite is a good fighter. I think he plays right in time. <laughs> Uh, I think he fades. I think he's susceptible to getting hit by the right hand, and I don't think he can win the battle of the jab, so he's going to come forward and he's going to get nailed. And I think Jordan Thompson wins this fight by late KO. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You still don't lose anything if Appetite wins by decision. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Those are the bets. Those two bets. If Appetite wins, you make seven seven times your bet. You make seven hundred dollars on a two hundred dollar bet. If I'm wrong, well, you make eight hundred, right? You make eight hundred on two hundred dollar bet. No, you make seven hundred. You make seven hundred on two hundred dollar bet. <laughs> you make seven hundred on two hundred dollar bet um, because you're making eight hundred and losing a hundred. So you make seven hundred on two dollar on a two hundred dollar bet. And if Appetite wins by decision, you walk away. You didn't lose a dime. You can make the money back. You can make it on the Barrios fight. You can make it on the Charlo fight. I, and I show you how to make money on all of those. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, the Boxing Book comes at you for every single fight. Uh, and we consistently show you how to make money. Uh, we will show you how to bring down the house. Uh, it is September 29th, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.